Exactly, Hillary. I didn't even get a chance to talk about libido and the intimacy aspect, really, not in the depth that I wanted to. So Hillary writes, they need to understand why our libido goes away and that it's not them. Here's the thing. When you're going through menopause, and I will preface this, everyone has their own experience, but your hormones are going all over the place as a woman, all over the place. There's a reason that back in the day, they used to take the women and they would drop them off at the, uh, the crazy house, for the better term, when they were going through the change because it is that, can be that catastrophic. Now, that being said, it's not that a woman doesn't want her husband. The libido aspect isn't about not desiring your partner. That's the first thing, men. Don't think for a second because a woman's going through a difficult time that, and she's not intimate with you, that it's because of you. And I'm gonna play devil's advocate for a minute and say, I know that it can't be easy for men. Absolutely not. I mean, the fact that you, you don't even understand what's going on generally, because half the time, the woman doesn't even know what's going on. You know, menopause has been such a hush-hush thing that, that wasn't passed down from generation to generation in a discussion with women. In fact, most of the time, you, our moms, our grandmothers never told us anything about it. So we're kind of driving blindly, the husband's driving blindly, and that's where the communication breaks down. I'm no marriage counselor, and I, I mentioned that, you know, for the most part, most of my menopause journey, I was single. So I can only speak from my own experience, but I do know, I do know that with communication and understanding that there are ways to navigate, there are ways to navigate the intimacy during menopause, but it takes a lot of courage. It takes patience. It is like a complete rebirth. Think of a chrysalis. Think of that caterpillar that turns into a butterfly and that experience how extraordinarily painful to turn into from a bug to a butterfly think about that with a woman when she's going through the change I mean that's just one silly little analogy but it fits the fact that it is a huge change that we're going through but it doesn't mean that you can't have intimacy and it doesn't mean it does not mean that when a woman's going through her stuff that just because she doesn't want it, that she doesn't want you. That is not the case at all. I also tell you from the libido standpoint, some women, it stays the same, some it dips, and some it improves. And I can just tell you, let me just say, bioidentical hormones are a woman's best friend. Intimacy may just change, may just change for the better. And remember men, quality over quantity.